Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's announcement video. I am so excited to be announcing year two of the Continuathon. Let's get into it. So for those of you who did not hear about the Continuathon last year, basically it is a readathon that I created that is two weeks long, and it's all about continuing series and companion novels. Basically, I feel like there are so many of us, myself included, who start series but then never finish them, or uh, we're waiting for the next book and then that book comes out and then oh you never actually read it or you want to reread a previous book There are so many excuses for why we're in the middle of so many series and trilogies and duologies. It's insane. I wanted to create a readathon that would allow us to just set two weeks aside to make some progress on our series goals I'm not picky about format. You could physically read it ebook audiobook doesn't matter, it can be duology, trilogy, series, companion novels, anything that kind of just relates to each other that you want to read counts. So let's get into the specifics for this year. I have made some changes to the Continuathon for this year, the first being the time, the time frame. So instead of it being the first two weeks of April, it is actually going to take place from April 10 until April 24th, so through the end of the 24th. It just works out better in my personal life and hopefully it works out better for some other people. So it is still gonna be two weeks like it was last year, it's just gonna be a little bit later in April. I have also decided to switch the badge system a little bit. So instead of earning a bunch of badges for a bunch of different um, series, that you read for or complete. It's actually going to be a tier system. Now, now there will still be badges for completing each tier and there are going to be four tiers. So there are four badges that you can earn and I will have those linked in the description below along with where my social media is, which is close to where the like button is, also the subscribe button, who knew? So if you're interested in this readathon, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified as I will be vlogging this readathon and I will have another related video coming out quite soon. I want to make this readathon super easy because I know that spring can be a very busy time for some people, especially if you're in school, you're probably preparing for exams or if you work in an academic setting, end of the year, end of the school year can be very busy or if you're starting to plan vacations. So I tried to make this a little bit less like stressful, but still have like some accomplishments that will hopefully help you read your series and also just relax a little bit and continue to read. So the first tier, very simple, you read a book. It could be a book in a duology, a book in a trilogy, a book in a series. It could be the first book, the last book, middle book, does not matter. First tier is read one book. The second tier is to read two books. It could be any two books in a series, or it could be two books from two different series. Doesn't matter, read two books. Guess what tier three is? It's read three books, but it can be any three books. And then the fourth tier is completion. So if you could do this either by reading four books or you've completed something, whether it's a duology, a trilogy, a series. Companion novels count for this too. If there is an author that has released multiple books in the same universe, but you don't need to read them in, an, in a specific order and they're companion novels, that also counts. But yeah, so you only get into the fourth tier by completing something. So you could complete tier two and then just jump to tier four if you just read a duology. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, but it does have to be an entirety of something. It, it can't just be read one book and then you jump to the fourth tier. You have to actually read a duology or a trilogy or a series. 
I hope that made sense. If it didn't, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I will do my best to explain it there, but I hope that this made sense. So yeah, I tried to make it much more simpler on you and a lot simpler on me as now I only have to create four badges instead of like 30. <laughs> I don't know how many I made last year, but it was a lot. So, and I decided to make the badges more of a pastel color because it seems more spring and I think it's more fun that way. All right, uh, I think that's everything. So like I said, I will be posting on my socials about it. I will have the badges linked down below. Ask me any questions if you have any in the comments. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you are going to participate, maybe what your goals are for participating this year. I... I would love to make it to the fourth tier by completing a trilogy. I, I think my biggest one is how many trilogies I have that I could complete. I really could complete them. I have all the books, but I just, I haven't. So my goal is to reach the fourth tier by completing a trilogy. So let me know what your goals are if you're participating in the comments below. Also, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, and my next video will be all of the series <laughs> that I am currently in the middle of. So if you, if you want to relate to that or feel better about yourself because of how many series I'm in the middle of, hit the bell to be notified as that video will be going up next week. But I believe that is everything. I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. So until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.